What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to another app of the week. I am David, of course, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com. We're going to be looking at a notification widget called Missed It. Some of you might already be familiar with it. Um, it's been around for a little bit, but yeah, the updates have been coming very nicely, and it's actually a pretty nice, very, very customizable widget. Let's go ahead and place it here. All right, and then we get to our configuration screen you can rename the widget when you save it if you would like I'm just gonna keep it at, as that monitor elements you can pick out this is where you can pick out which widgets or which applications you want to receive notifications for like it already defaults to missed calls text messages and uh, emails or gmails but right here if you uh, add obviously you can add those you can add voicemail if you want to or you can go application and it'll load the activities and it actually will do I, I don't see any one it won't do so it'll do all your applications for you so let's go ahead and and you can also remove it from the list too by just holding down remove you can also realign if you want it like that so we'll just have these two to show you right now um, output format this is where this is where it kind of gets a little weird I'll say it's it's a little strange because it defaults like here I'll actually just show you if I go all the way back, all right, there you go. Let me go ahead and resize it. See, it defaults like it's stacked up on each other. And sometimes you might want like a, a you know long ways where you want it side by side. So what you're gonna want to do? That's right. You gotta open it up like that. Where are you? There you are. Okay, let's open it up. So what you're gonna want to do is go to the output format, and right here it actually kind of shows you what to do. Um, when it has in the, between the brackets right here, it says NL and it just means next line. So if you want to have it all on a straight line, you can actually delete that. And let's go back. And there you go. Now it's in a straight line. And you can place it wherever, see? Of course, there's spacing involved, which what you can do is just actually put, you know, have them lined up and then just put a bunch of spaces so it looks a lot better. But um, let's go in here again. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a little weird, a little strange, but hey, you know, it's whatever. I'm not the developer. And of course, we've got appearance, um, numeric parameters. This is when uh, you can actually choose the font, size. I mean, there's so much to do here. Bold, italic, underline, color. You could choose a color, blur effect. There's so much you could do, like if you want to do like a holo-ish, you know. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Holo color ish I don't know something like that right blue there we go and you can pick the alpha too this is actually the numeric is the actual the number of uh, notifications the number that's in front of the words and of course the string parameters are and we can actually choose um, different fonts like if you have different fonts in here like let's go with the droid logo um, of course yeah let's do let's make it green why not I guess you can see what we're talking about Go back, it saves. See, as you can see right there, it's got it in the Droid font. It's got the numbers. Of course, the spacing's a little off, but I'm just kind of just demonstrating. But, you know, it's not a bad app. I really actually like this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, you can also, when you hit it, um, you can open up that, that notification that you got. And, of course, you can uh, adjust alignment if you want it left, center, right, all that stuff, vertical, center, bottom, top rotation if you want to i mean this is really this is what's really cool about it is like there's so much you can do like customizing you can even have a wake up notification if you'd like um yeah and it's just it's pretty neat not bad at all um it does cost like a dollar something in the play store i don't think there is a free version i just purchased it because i thought it was pretty cool um and uh yeah that's pretty much it kind of sucks but there's so much to do with it you know so, I mean, show some love to the developers. It's only a dollar something. So, anyways, guys, yeah, check it out. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you've been using it and all that fun stuff. And hit that like, thumbs up button, too, if you like this video. And subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com. And this has been App of the Week. Missed it! Because we hate missing our notifications, right? Except when I'm watching Breaking Bad. I wish my phone would shut up. Anyways, talk to you later.